Well, I know that the public will be feeling anxious about the reports of potential more um, unrest tonight, but the police will be there to respond to any violent and criminality that we see on our streets. There's no place for that on our UK streets and the police will do their job like they have done exceptionally well under very difficult circumstances like I've seen here and witnessed today what they faced, missiles being thrown at them and attacks, but the police will be there to keep the public safe and there's no excuse for fuggery and criminality on the streets. Well I hope that the public and anyone who sees what's happening online that they will know that online and offline criminality will be faced with the courts and with the law and I you know, ask people to move away from that, to not get involved in that. We've seen what's happened on the streets like here in Rotherham. That is not our British values. We all equally saw the British people come out and support the communities and with the clean-up operation. So hopefully people will see, detest what's happened and will stay away from this violence and thuggery that this small minority of people have engaged with. Well, look, coming on the streets, throwing missiles at the police, attacking police, attacking hotels like this one I'm here today is not a legitimate grievance. It's not the way we do politics in this country and nobody should be condoning that. This is thuggery, this is violence. Someone could have got seriously injured over the last couple of days and it's no excuse for that and people should stay away from it. Well, look, people like Robert Jenrick has been stirring up some of the problems that we've seen in our communities. Actually what we want to see is that communities come in together and the vast majority of the public want to see that. The Prime Minister is very clear that his number one priority is to keep people safe and to keep our streets safe and that's why we've deployed the police to deal with the minority of people who think it's acceptable to throw missiles at police, attack police and attack hotels and attack businesses that are just trying to go about their daily lives. You know, the public here have been afraid and scared by those minorities who have been shouting racist abuse, shouting abuse and hurling missiles at police. There's no excuse for that and the police will do their exceptional job that they've been doing over the last couple of days to protect the public. Well, like I say, the police will be deployed where it's necessary and the vast majority of the public absolutely deplore what has happened. This is no way to conduct yourself. It is thuggish and criminality and the police and our courts stand ready to deal with it. Well, what I say is that all social media companies have responsibilities as well to deal with fake news. We've seen a lot of uh, fake information being shared online platforms. We've seen a lot of hate and people have a responsibility to not conduct themselves and to amplify that, but actually to deal with the uh, online misinformation, but also not to spread that hate. And, you know, we don't want to see that, whether that's online or offline. And people who are online spreading violence and inciting violence will be met with the law, as well as those that turn up and try and throw missiles at police and at our communities. Well, over 140 people have been charged so far, and it's right that our courts deal with that. And we've said that we will support the courts and we will support the police in carrying out their duties. But people need to understand that if you throw missiles, if you attack people, if you incite hatred and violence, so whether that's online or whether you're offline, you will be met with the law because it is unlawful. And, you know, we end up in a situation where we have here where people's lives were at risk and police officers' lives were put at risk by a small minority of criminality and thuggish behaviour. Well, the Prime Minister has set out about how we're deploying police and how we're making sure that we're working with social media companies on the online situation as well and working with the communities. But what has been happening is to see the community response. The vast majority of the British people see this for what it is, that it is criminality, it is thuggish behaviour. It is not a legitimate uh, complaint to throw bricks at police and to try and set fire to public buildings. That's not acceptable and we'll continue to support the police and the justice system in making sure that those people are dealt with.